all right people welcome back to the channel thank you very much for tuning in to another video yes my people and of course it is the first session of the world indoor championship over there in glasgow and we have a report to give you from a jamaican standpoint my people very very interesting um report that we want to give you and it is interesting what transpired early this morning so let's kick things off with the results from the women's 400 meters yes the women's 400 meters in the first heat uh we have laville nice taking the uh automatical qualifying spot 51 82 and andre miklos 52 1 7 she finished uh they finished off the top two in that heat and also the next eight included Jamaica's Tasian Williams. This one was a nippy one, people, because Leake Claver, 51-31, took the top spot, qualifying easily. And uh, Suzanne, 51-43. Then you have Lara Vandrova, 51-94. And Stacian Williams finishing fourth in this one. But, but she grabbed one of the... Uh, fastest loser spot 52 1 6 in this one good to see Stacian in her first indoor championship the world indoor championship to be exact qualified for the next round talita Diggs, she looks uh impressive 52.17 qualifying there uh charlene modestly 52 23 qualifying amanda dean brozier 52 2 3 and Henriette Jager, 52-2-3, qualify from Heat 3. And the final heat, see the world record holder, Femke Ball. Oh, my word. This it looks very easy for a Femke Ball. 52 seconds, but easy qualifying there. And also Alexis Holmes of the USA, 52 53 Sharuki Young could only manage 5304 seconds, which did not qualify her for the next round. So, in, in essence, only one Jamaican qualifying there for the uh 400 meters next round. Good to see Stacey and Williams making that move to qualify for that first round or first ever indoor athletics championship so on the men's side of thing people yes it this one is interesting people very interesting in the first round heat one karsten warholm 46 68 that is his season best he finished ahead of rock furland 47 these those are the two to qualify jacory patterson the U.S. champion, he did not qualify for this, this event. Interesting days are ahead in this 400 meters. Uh, Marty Krisik, 46.07, qualifying from this E2 ahead of Rasheen McDonald, 46.25. And that was a massive personal best for Rasheen McDonald. He ran a superb race. Listen. All the doubters, all the haters, all the jeers of Rasheen McDonald. He qualified. He ran a PB. Wow. But guess what? Here what the people are still saying. Will he be able to replicate? Hey, when you do something and people were thinking that you're going to do something else, they will find another avenue to say this is what you should do. This is what you could have done. But it is what it is. Rasheed McDonald qualified. And the fa two fastest losers came from this heat. He to uh, Lucas Carvalho, 46-82, uh, which is a personal best for him. And Franco Burrage, 46-86, which is also uh, a season best for him. In E3, we have Molnar, 46-52, Automatically qualifying there, taking that one. And Duben, 46.91, qualifying there. Omar, uh, one of the fastest losers, 46.99, a personal best. 
Jerry Richards people, the defending champion, 4704 season best. He had to wait and see, and he was like on the edge of his seat. But, but he eventually made it through. Alexander Doom took the final hit, uh, 46 1 1, automatically qualified, and Joe Kaholo. 46.35, he also qualified, and Brian Foss of the United States, 47.11, did not qualify. This 400 meters is very interesting, people, because guess what? No American qualified for the finals or the next round of the 400 meters. This is unheard of. No Americans, let me say it again, no Americans qualified for the next round of the men's 400 meters interesting that is unheard of is this an indication or an indicator of things to come in paris people mm, very interesting day lies ahead but again indoor and outdoor are two different things all right so in the shot put that is happening right now uh our jamaican uh, Daniel Thomas Dodd sits in fourth position as I uh, recorded this video. So she's still in fourth position, uh, fifth position rather. And uh, let's look at the 800 meters. Now, 800 meters add our very own. Uh, Natoya Gould, right? Natoya Gould was in the first heat. And that's it. this is the only heat I'll be talking about, people. On the eat I'll be talking about. Natoya Gould, she finished second behind Alimo. Very good run from Alimo. She looks composed. She looks good. She looks like she's in good nick. Two minutes, five zero seconds to qualify. Natoya Gould, two minutes, 83. A season best for her to qualify. So the top two qualified from that round. Now, I have a problem with Natoya. And Natoya... People, you might think that people is always at you, but you're running Natoya. It, it 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 begs for concern. It always gives people um some sort of heart palpitation because of how you run. Now, from watching the race, you were comfortable in second until that um runner keep rotage uh, run upon you, right? But my thing, viewing the race from front shot, you almost let that athlete through the inside. And that is a cardinal sin whenever you're running middle distance or 4x4. Four four, you cannot allow anybody to pass you on the inside. Again, it seemed to me that you continue to run over distance. You should have stayed close to the edge. But... This is my point of view. And congratulations on your qualification. Not a bad outing for Jamaica. One casualty in the 400 meters for women. We're in fifth position in the, in, in, in the final that is taking place in the shot put. So good, good first session for the Jamaicans. Drop a comment and let me hear what your thoughts are on this uh, analysis of what took place today. Until next time.